password fuzzy balls I got the, yeah, let's see. fuzzy balls nope that's not it Fuck. ah that's it big dick that's right okay and that should get me into the mansion I told him not to touch it, but his stupidity and bad taste in women got the best of him. He touched it with a flick of his stick and he had an STD. Once he returned it to the labs, I told him that the D-virus and coronavirus got knocked over by some tool in research making something new, like a double D-virus, and it went airborne. Well, we're all gonna die now. Crack right. oh. oh. out, bitches. <laughs> Citizen Evil. Breaking. The killer raccoon strikes again. Hello, Big Coon City. I'm Betty Armstrong with the news. The body of a biker has been found near the outskirts of MJ Mountains. Due to severe bite wounds, officials were unable to identify the John Doe. This now brings the death toll to 10. Chief Sanders, BPD, urges the public to stay calm and stay indoors. He has also brought in the SCARS team to aid in the arrest of the killer raccoon. SCARS leader Albert Whisker has this to say. I want to thank Chief Sanders, my best friend Hudson, my mother Sheena, Molly, and Bruce for this opportunity in bringing down the biker killer. We will begin doing sweeps in Big Coon City in all sectors. We will bring that raccoon down and or the killers responsible and bring them to justice. You have my word. Now, can I have your number? You can have this news. The energy drink company Unicorn Inc. has just released a new line of flavors like TV, GV, PV, PP, VV, TC, and GG. With that many flavors, the city will explode, says Unicorn Inc. CEO Francis Underwood. Quote, it's to die for. In other news, Miami police shot and killed a homeless man who was allegedly feasting on the face of another homeless man in a daylight attack on a busy highway. Before now, infamous face-eating cannibal Randy Sparks was stopped by four police bullets, says authorities. He had gnawed the face of victim Sam Leeds down to his goatee. This is the news, and I'm Betty Armstrong with the news. Are you bored at work, or are you just tired of work? Thinking about jumping out the window? Well, before you do, it, try our new energy drink from Unicorn Inc. Our new flavor, Vivi. It won't give you wings. You'll still hit the floor, but it'll taste good going down. <sighs> BPD the Musical is about the PPD law enforcement fighting zombie-like people that got too... They got too crazy for each other's brains. It's a musical of the decade. All the critics love this epic masterpiece. A musical.
Hey, Forrest. Yeah, man. Where's that 20 bucks you owe me? You're gonna have to wait till I get back, bro. Get back? Yeah, Whisker went ahead and gave the okay for Bravo team to go kick some cannibal ass. I'm heading the chopper now. Damn. Okay, well, pay me when you get back. Be safe. <laughs> Something smells fishy. Yeah, well, like, probably is because I ate fish tacos earlier, or because of the cooter pole. Oh, shh, dude, I don't want people to know we were there last night. You just, just, you just don't want Jill to find out. Look, I like Jill. We wanted a date a month ago. Then you guys invited me to the cooter pole. And we had a blast. Plus, I can't wait to go back to try our VIP tickets. See you, bro. Call me Brian. So I told the press that if they didn't quote me on what I say or how I say it, that they will never get a quote from me again. And then ah, they said, Chris, my favorite Scars member. Now we can stop wasting time. Bravo team's going first, I see. Standard PP. Ugh, protocol procedures. That's bullshit. That's not what we discussed last week. I thought that my order, Red Flow. I know it strays from policy. This is my police department. And I'll do whatever it takes to catch these sons of bitches. Yes, sir. You don't need to explain yourself. You're the boss, Chief. You're damn right, Red Flow. Now listen up. I'm putting my ass on the line with the mayor. <laughs> this ain't happy, sir. Oh, I'm Chief Sanders. They don't seem to help him because A is not before B. I have dinner with the mayor. Living off the taxpayers' money, am I right? People of Big Coon City. Farmers markets and sex markets and... Chris, open your mouth. Huh? Open your mouth. I do what the man says, Chris. Uh... As I was saying to the mayor, we would have this resolved in a timely manner. Now catch these small ass pricks before they kill again. Now have a full report on my desk as soon as Bravo team gets back. Excuse me, Captain. Chief. You know, I think the chief is on his period. <laughs> hey, maybe for Christmas we should get him a big box of tampons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Chief just wanted to go in another direction. Don't sweat on it. Listen, the chief is just being a big, veiny dick. Everything will be fine, okay? Just think of the cooter pole. Did someone say cooter pole? Barry, don't say that out loud. What? You're still crushing on Jill? Yes! Get that down! Jesus. Sorry, Chris. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, whatever. Chris and Jill sitting in a tree. F U C K I. Shh. Goddamn, dude. First comes love, second comes marriage. Stop. Stop it. Here comes Chris. Pushing a baby carriage. Fuck you, Barry. All right. Since Miss Valentine isn't planning on joining us, let's get started. The BPD will establish a perimeter search in sectors 1, 4, 7, and 9. Our main concern is the central zone. Bravo team will land here. After a flyby of the central zones, 
and Bravo team reports in, we will have a better idea on where to focus our sights. What about the Wiener State? It's right in the middle of the murders. We could start there and that would give us a complete- And if Bravo team's information points there, we'll search the hell out of it. For the moment, there isn't any reason to consider it a priority. But all we have is Unicorn's word that the Wiener State is deserted. Chris, getting to the bottom of this is what we all want. Teamwork is the best approach to do a perfect search for the missing bikers. Bravo team will have a look and we will do this by the book. Jill, glad you showed up. Please, illuminate us with your brightful thoughts. What do you have for us? Well, nothing that'll rock your socks off, I'm afraid. But the only obvious puzzle is location. <laughs> oh my gosh, how did that get in there? And <laughs> Enrico must have been playing a joke on me. <laughs> so anyways, the tissue samples found underneath the fingernails of Dick McDonald and Rose Mullen were an exact match. And Tim Lipton was victim three, um, writing or hiking the foothills of Test Sector B. My personal theory at this time is, sir, I believe to be a heavy ritualistic cult that listens to Green Day. They've dug into mountains with four to 11 members strong with some sort of attack dogs guarding their ter territory. Explain. Cannibalism and body parts all chopped up. It's ritualistic behavior. Also, the decomposed flesh on some of the victims suggests the killers are carrying body parts of other unknown victims when they attack. We managed to get tissue and saliva samples from four separate human assailants. An eyewitness reports suggest a t nine or even 11 people. Those killed by animals were found or discovered to be attacked in the same way, is suggesting the bikers, hikers, wandered into an off-limit area where the alleged cult has made home. Don't even get me started on Canine Saliva and Green Day's latest album. Now, disprove Jill. Wasn't bad, but... But it's highly unlikely that a cult that listens to Green Day would move to the mountains. And with a cult that big, it would be hard for them to move around like that. Also, the murders has been recently, so it cancels out local and the BPD would have noticed something before now. You know what works? The part about the animal attacks. They're protecting their territory. I agree. Anything else? Thank God, that's over. A new kind of terrorism? Lesbianism. Barry, focus. Sorry, sir. I thought we were word matching, sir. Now, anyone else? Anybody? Chris? I don't, sir. Well, it's a start. Now, I know every single one of you have read the police reports and listened to the boring eyewitness accounts. Liquor's here. Over. At this point, we're blind and can't see what we're dealing with. It's like getting OC sprayed for the first time. It sucks. Eventually, you will be able to see. Some of you may have concerns on how the BPD dealt with the situation, but now they have scars on the case. What? Bravo team, report! Bravo team, report! Can you freaking hear me? Liquors, turn it to calm. Position. Bravo team, position. They're in, uh, I believe, sector 22, the tail end of C. But I've lost signal, Captain. The transmission ended. Joseph, take over. 
Keep trying to reach Bravo team. Liquors. Go warm up with the chopper. Get clearance. I want us up in five. Bravo team, are you there? Come here, copy. Barry, Chris, get weapons to the chopper. Ready and loaded. Jill, locker room. Packs, vests. Call Chief Sanders and tell him we need backup and EMTs at the barricades. Five minutes or less, people. Sir, we lost contact with Bravo team. We're going in. It's my call now. We'll radio in once we know what happened. I'm going to the roof to inspect the chopper with Brad. Joseph, in one minute, turn it over to the boys at the front desk. Help with equipment. Meet us up top. Damn, he's good. Man sure knows how to run a circus. Bravo team, are you there? Come here, copy. Don't trust people. Who the heck is Trent? <sighs> Having problems? There was a locker that was stuck. I had hell trying to open it. Hmm. I'll call the maintenance crew when we get back. Pass out all the gear. And here, I'll take that. Several hours. 
we're going in blind. So stay sharp. And Chris, those selfies you sent me from the cooter pole were nice. What's going on? I think I know her. We all know Cherry Pie. I'm gonna land in the clearing. Look alive, people. Cherry Pie? I can explain. Information! Check for Bravo's chopper! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think it's over there. Nobody in the chopper! Where could they have gone? I don't know. All right. Everybody split up and spread out. Holler real loud if you find anything. You know I'm deaf and selective hearing in my right ear. I'm sorry, my bad, Jill. Hey, I was wanting to let you know that those strip club pics was a one-time thing and- Chris, we went on one date, not two, one. We never established if we were dating or not. We didn't? No, since we're not dating, I can give two shits about you and Cherry Pie taking some slutty pics or not. I'm not your girlfriend. Is that a hand? Oh shit! No! Brad, you pussy! Everybody keep running! Come on! 
Chris is all right. He is. You know, he really cares for you a lot. Really? He does. The entire time we were at the cooter pole, he never once looked at another girl. Really? Yeah. Well, then Forrest and Brad bought jello shots and then bought him a lap dance and we all took jello shots out of her belly button. Her name was Jennifer. Ah, Jennifer. Thanks, sir. Really reassuring. Well, it was a good night. Is that what I think it is? Blood. We need to figure out whose this is. Otherwise, well, somebody's on the rag. Cooter ball. Ew. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look around. Well, let's just pray it's not Chris's blood. Agreed. Salt was that? That cracked out homeless guy killed Kent. He was eating his face off. My God. Well, we need to report back to Whisker and let him know that there's bath salt using homeless people out here killing people in this mansion. I guess the cold theory's trash now. Damn right it is. I'll follow you. Whisker! Whisker! 
Oscar! Jill, let's go ahead and do a perimeter around here. He's got to be here somewhere. Okay. Hey, Barry, you think maybe he ran into one of those homeless guys? Nah. Dude's a cheapskate. You know, he didn't even come with us to the cooter pole. Probably was out buying sunglasses some bullshit. Alright, I'm gonna start my perimeter check. Whisker! Whisker! Anything! Nothing. What the hell is going on here? Beats me like a cooter pole on gentleman's night. Uh, first Chris, now Whiskers disappeared? What the hell is going on here, Barry? I hate to say it, Jill, but I think we should split up. I'll search the dining room and look for more clues. Okay. I'll check that door. This mansion is huge. We could get lost really fast. Here, take this lockpick. You're the master of unlocking anyways. And anybody you find, you bring back here. We use this room as a base of operations. Cool? Thank you, Barry. Be careful. I will. Don't worry. It'll be perfectly fine. As long as I can find the kitchen. <laughs> You okay? Have you seen any of the members of the SCARS teams? Hey, hey, stop. I said stop! Stop, we're on fire! What the fuck? What the fuck? <clears throat> ah, you got my mouth. People are being killed in this hellhole by homeless men on basalts and killer hounds and clowns. I fucking hate clowns. If one of these homeless men are dressed like a damn clown, I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. Maybe there was a Halloween party and they all got high off basalts? Maybe they had a rave and someone didn't cook the food very well, so they got food poisoning and then decided to do basalts.
I'm gonna tell you one time, freeze rush. Shoot. Damn, another? It's gonna be one hell of a report. Self-defense, self-defense, self-defense. Four silver cogs? So I need four silver cogs. All right, let's wrap. It's like needles. I can't see. Uh, it's like Satan jizz on my face. Okay, it's not that bad. Here, um, here's a towel. Dad, don't rub. I seriously can't see a thing. Focus. Do the see thing with your eyes. Rebecca Chambers? Hey, big guy, how do you feel? Like crap. What hit me? Well, you uh, fell and hit your head on a dresser, leaving a nasty gash. Don't worry, I patched you up. Thanks, Rebecca. I owe you. Don't mention it. Where's the rest of Bravo team? I'm not sure. Our helicopter started acting weird, so we landed. That's when a bunch of aggressive dogs started to attack. Enrico told me to run, so I did. That's when I lost my gun, but I still have my OC spray. I know. Maybe I should have stayed and helped the others. I feel bad. Hey, you did your best in following orders. Don't beat yourself up. Thanks, Chris. So did you find anything useful in here? Nothing. Wait, I did find this key with a helmet symbol on it. I saw a door back there with a helmet on it. Here, you can have it. Thank you. You're welcome. If I'm not mistaken, you have a background in biology. I do. Check these out. This is brain chemistry, but... The numbers are off, like, none of this makes any sense. What do you mean? Like, the, the neuro and the suro is too low, and the, the dwarf, oh my gosh, the dwarf is off the charts, like, insanely off. See? I see what you mean. Makes me wonder about the creepy shit that's been going on around here. Okay, I'm going to go check the door and look for ammo. You stay here, keep reading these, find out what's going on. Oh, Chris, wait. Here, take my mags. Thanks, Rebecca. Don't get eaten. Just walked in. Tasty. Hey baby, want you go crow? You can't crow back.
can't see. What the hell? Are we dead? Where did Toots go? There she is. Hey, baby. Shut the fuck up, you disgusting blue jays! That's an insult. Did she just call us blue jays? What the ever-loving fuck? <laughs> it's eye-plucking time. There goes Toots. I almost had her. Oh, my nipple. Wait. Such a sweet surprise. Oh, Jill. I hope you're okay. Smell that romance in the air. Oh, God. Some romance. What the hell's that key? Hello? Huh. What about that? Day 57, July 10th, 2019. I was playing strip poker with Joe, Bob, Rick, and Dave from research. Things got a little weird when Bob started doing the helicopter. Day 58, July 11th, 2019. 
Dr. Fritz, one of the higher up doctors, assigned me to take lead of a new experiment on some lab animal. Something out of a horror movie. Half ape, half something else. I threw a goat in with it, and it pulled off its legs before eating it. it bounced its head like a basketball. Day 59, July 12th, 2019. It was about 4 a.m. Dave woke me and scared the shit out of me. He was wearing a hazmat suit while handing me one telling me to put it on. There's been an accident in the lab. I knew something was going to go wrong. Those dumbasses from research were weird. Except for Dave. I love Dave. Anyway, the rest was weird, and all they wanted to do was party. Day 60, July 13th, 2019. I've been in this suit since yesterday, and I'm about to go mad. My skin feels weird and burns a little, and those damn dogs were looking at me all funny, so I didn't feed them. I hope they die. Day 64, July 17th, 2019. Someone tried leaving last night and they shot him. What the fuck? I'm feeling hot and sweaty. Mom's spaghetti, knees weak, arms are heavy. I'm nervous. Day 65, July 18th, 2019. Fever gone. Super itchy. Doggy, doggy food, good. Itchy, itchy. Dave came by. Ugly bump, less face, so... Killed him. <laughs> tasty, tasty. Itchy. I know the layout of this quite well. I mean the labs, of course. This hellish maze they call an estate, well, I've only been through a few times. My master key only opens so much in this damn place. I'll need to solve the puzzle to make it out the back. I'm not walking through the woods, I mean hell to the no. And what if the 117s get out? Oh, yikes. Booby traps and infected workers with anything else those lab tards cooked up. Great, this is worse than I thought. I'm gonna die here. I don't have the time to go through every room, every secret, and every puzzle. Wait! Who said I had to do this alone? Chris. Chris is a walking dumb tank that has a super crush on Jill. And Jill is a klutz and might be bi. But Barry, yes, Barry is the right kind of dumb I need. Chris and Jill both trust Barry. While they're all stuck in the house shooting zombies and making a path, I'll get to the trigger system. And then boom, bitches, Wesker out. Mission come. Wait for it. Pleat. <laughs> to somebody who worked here. He talked about weird shit and some stuff that I don't know. Virology? I found something useful in the box.
What am I looking at here? Shapes for toddlers. Oh, okay, my bad. What is this DH5A dollar sign hyphen McHammer? What you're looking at right now is the Strain for Life chart. Make money like MC Hammer. This is a host for generating genomic liberties containing methylated cytosin or a dense residues depending. I'm not trying to be a dick here, but can we pretend that I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about? Oh my gosh, it's like high school all over again. Okay, so basically, there's a lot of stuff in here on viral infection. Okay, gotcha. Infection. Like a virus? Yes, exactly. Here in this journal, on this date, there was a spill and an outbreak in this mansion. When did the first symptom occur? The first 24 hours. Itchy skin, swelling, blisters. Wow, that's um... My thoughts exactly. How do we know if we're infected? We need more info. All the papers in this box are ancient. If it's airborne, all of Big Coon City would be infected by now. It does seem contagious. Shit. Well, we need to hurry up and go find the others. Hope they didn't stumble into the lab and get, well, infected. keep getting hurt like this, there won't be no more Joseph. Bitch, I was looking for. You know, you scared the hell out of me. Heard that elevator ding and boom. Poop emojis just popped out all over the floor. You don't get me started on the homeless people. So the homeless people, they're running around here eating people's flesh. Just like zombies. Right. Just like zombies. Draw, <laughs> Barry! They are zombies! You dingbat! Come on! Well, how do you know? And why did you leave the main hall? You know, we came back and you were gone. The hell? It's my sandwich! Sorry about that. I was starving. And I left because, well, nature called and I... I answered. Barry, I need your... I need your help on something. Have you ever heard of White Unicorn? White Unicorn is a branch of Unicorn Inc. I guess you could say the Wiener Estate houses their research facilities and, well, had an accident occur as of late. This division of White Unicorn has a few ties to the SCARS organization. And not too long ago, I was asked to, well, assist in their handling of the situation. It's a very, very delicate situation, you see. White Unicorn doesn't want word getting out of their involvement. Now what am I supposed to do? Oh, that's right. Get to those labs. And put an end to some rather incriminating evidence. Proof 
that white unicorn is responsible for all this bizarre murders around Big Coon City as of late. The only problem is I don't have the key to those labs. Keys, actually. And that, Barry, is where you come in. I need you to help me find those keys. Are you literally insane? Like what in the actual fuck? Do you think I'm going to help you destroy evidence? You ignorant son of a bitch. Oh, Barry, you don't understand. You don't have a choice in the matter. I have a few friends from White Unicorn that are stationed outside your house, watching your family sleep. And if you don't help me, well, your family could wake up dead. Before you pull that trigger, I ought to mention that if I don't report back to my friends in a timely manner, their orders are to go ahead and carry out the deed anyway. You're bluffing. I'm not. Try me. You can apologize to their headstones later. Good boy. Now, there are four silver-plated cogs hidden in this house. Find them. They open the back door that leads out of the mansion. And here, take this key. It opens most important doors in this, well, hellhole. Find the cogs, and your family will be fine. But what about Chris and Jill? We'll undoubtedly want to help you. Tell them about the back door, you know, a way out. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help a trusted friend. You know, good old Barry. In fact, you should unlock every door you can to give them a more thorough job. Of course, you tell them you've seen me. Well, that could complicate matters. If I run into trouble, say, get shot in the back, well, hmm, enough said. Let's just keep this between us. And where will you be? Hey, you guys! That was Joseph! My God, man! Correction. Zombie. Whisker, you... You'll tell them I'm helping you, right? You... You won't forget to report in. Trust me, Barry. Do what I tell you. And there's nothing to worry about. When this is all over and my family's safe, there isn't a place on Earth for you to hide, Captain Whisker. so soon you're the main star of this car watch that ain't even right that's an invite hey you tickle me with that is that the tickle Oh, shit. 
So how about you stay here and I'll go look for the others? So you're benching me? Well, not really. Oh, no. I get it. I don't want to slow you down. <laughs> it's not like that. No, it's cool. All I have is my OC spray, but don't come crying to me when you get your butt kicked by a mathematical problem. Dumbass. Well, I'm glad you're okay with it. It'll be safer in here. Lock the door when I leave. Lock the door when I leave. I'll be back as soon as possible. I'll be back as soon as possible. Some Indiana Jones shit right there. You almost became a Jill sandwich. Hopefully, I can return the favor if this mansion keeps springing booby traps. But really, thanks for saving me. 
Well, I had no luck finding Chris and Whisker, but I think I found a way out. I just came back in and I heard your gunshots. Good thing, too. Or, well, you know. Just be more on your guard. This place is bad news bears, and those bears will eat your pretty little face off. So you said you found a way out? Yeah. That door in the corner leads to a walkway that leads to a door that hopefully leads to an escape. But we need four silver cogs to open it. So where are these cogs? They're hidden somewhere in this house. Okay, so four silver cogs. Got it. And Chris. And Whisker. Barry. Do you think they're still alive? Of course I do. Plus, there's dead, deader zombies all over the West Wing. Clean bullet holes. Had to be Chris. I did pop a few myself. So he's gotta be held up somewhere. Okay, well we need to find him. And Whisker. Agreed. And this place, this hellish place, is full of nothing but traps, tricks, zombies, zombie dogs, zombie snakes, Bill and man-eating bears. Did you see a bear? What's up with you and bears? No, I haven't seen any bears, but I'm just freakishly terrified of them. That's why we should go and look for Chris and Whisker now. Because of bears? Damn right because of bears. Little shitholes, fur, claws, teeth, Ted, little fucking bear. I don't think that's the best idea. I mean, you're right, but if we stay split up, we could cover more ground. Look for those cogs and find our missing comrades. Well, since we know what we're up against, we should be fine as long as we use common sense. Barry, you okay? You seem a little off. I'm all right. Just worried about Chris. You know? Paranoid much? He is less pervy than normal. I mean, this is Barry Gordon, a Scars member that just saved my life. Hmm, what's he hiding? Okay, stop thinking of this nonsense. Or hell, you'll start suspecting Captain Whisker of planning this whole thing. <laughs> like that would ever happen. I'll check the upstairs of the West Wing for Chris. You check the upstairs of this wing. You're right. If we split up, we can cover more ground. We can cover more ground like you said and keep an eye out for those silver cogs and slowly work our way back to the main hall. You got this, homegirl. Good luck. Barry was acting strange and he's definitely hiding something from me. Maybe he found Chris and Whisker dead and doesn't want me to know. Maybe I should stop thinking about it and just do my job. Whether or not we find the others, he's right about getting out. We have to get back to the city and let them know what's out here. Well, I guess that debunks my cult theory and shit. I need to solve this before anyone else dies. I will solve this. Oh God, what happened, man? buddy.
crow just talk? Stupid. No, I'm hallucinating. Cheap bastard. playing the piano then this secret room opened up and I moved some crests in the dining hall and the grandfather clock moved and that's where I found this what just having dog shit or something oh I know I should have stayed in the room but I thought I can catch up to you in time before you got too far it's cool I'm just surprised to see you here I found something as well it's way better than your OC spray just don't shoot me with it. Whose was it? I know you feel responsible for me, and I'm pretty new at this, but I'm part of this team too. Sheltering me from facts is gonna get me killed. Whose was it? Forrest. He was pegged to death by talking crows. Then he attacked me as one of those things. Kenneth is dead too. Okay, so what do we do now? I guess we try another door and keep looking for survivors. Can't have too much protection. take this lovely jewel to the Joe Exotic statue, but why would I do that when I could stay here in this comfy chair? 
maybe I'll take a little cat nap while I wait on the rest of the team to catch up. Oh, Evie Smith. Wait. Dr. Evie Smith. perfume you're wearing, Dr. Smith. You should have went out with me. I could have saved you. Or maybe not. Oh well. Burping helps with AIDS. <laughs> Throw the pig on the roof. Herbs are actually poison I have no. <sighs> Taking a nap is starting to sound great. The golden frog. Wait! Those stupid scientists wouldn't have sealed up the labs. Damn it! Ah, I've got to find that golden frog. Great. Just great. First silver cogs. Now golden frog. What was Mr. Wiener smoking to come up with this crap? Great. That means my plans are now ruined. Ah! Now what am I to do? What? Another puzzle? So what am I supposed to push this button? And then spiders come crawling out? Gas chamber? Spikes? These characters come to life. Nope, not doing that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he was poisoned, like, by a snake. What well, snake it's that big? A trouser snake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm joking. What I mean is, it would have took him a while to bleed out. I'm pretty sure he was poisoned. Snake. Snake. Don't die on me, Richard! 
What happened to you? There's monsters and demons in this mansion. Is that what gave you these puncture wounds? Save yourself. My first. Suck it. That's your job. Whoever killed Richard, it's back there. Then let's go. Be super careful not to end up like Richard. Okay, you go down there, check out that room. I'll check out this one. You run into any trouble, come back to the spot and wait. We'll meet back in five. Definitely no trouser snake. So you're the one that killed Pretty Boy Richard. Oh. Oh. It's okay, I was needing a new pair of boots anyways. Oh, help get this thing off me. Just a few bruised ribs. What the hell, right? Such a damn trouser snake almost crushed me to death. I almost died because I picked this damn thing up. Find anything? Talking roaches. Dust. What's that for? I think we'll find out soon enough. Come on, let's get out of here. I really hate snakes. Oh, Jesus, it's good to see you, old fart. I was beginning to think Rebecca and I were the only two left alive in this place. Have you seen Captain Whisker or Jill? Seen both. Me and Jill, we went searching for anybody we could find alive. Right. We found Kenneth. He's dead. After that, we would report back to Whisker. He's gone. Yeah, Forrest and uh, Richard, they're dead too. <sighs> so, Wh Whisker just up and vanished? Yeah. Poof into thin air. That about sums it up. So you haven't seen or heard from him at all? Yeah, that about sums it up. Barry, there's something you're not telling me. I have not seen or heard from him since he vanished. Barry, I do think you've seen him. In fact, I definitely believe you've spoken to him since he's vanished. I bet he's at the Coosey Bowl. To see what? Well, I was trying to keep that a secret. But you saw right through me. Ha! <laughs> oh, that pervy Wesker. I mean, to sneak out of here just to go back to the sea pole. What a brave soul. Now, Barry, where's Jill? Jill found a way out. It takes a puzzle-like lock. It takes four silver cogs in order for it to open. Me like this? Yeah. Like that one. Where did you two find this? Oh, oh, oh! He had to find a snake for it. A really big snake. No, 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 not a trouser snake. I think it was mutated in the accident here. We found some documents that show they were doing some research experiments here in secret on the estate. Whatever they are working on, something got out. A virus. It affects mammals, reptiles, possibly more. We need to call the feds. Get this place quarantined. Or at least find the other silver cog so we can get the hell out of here. 
We need all the silver cogs to escape. Jill's found one. Hopefully more by now. Where is she? Well, this place is like a maze. I'll tell you what. I'll go and get her and meet you in the main hall. Then, when we're all together, we can plan a bigger search. Okay. But uh, if she's not where you think she is, we'll meet you in the main hall and we'll search together. Splitting up is bad. Why don't you finish the puzzle, Mr. Gordon? Yeah, right. The puzzle. Time is short, Barry. There's not much time for us to get to the labs after you. What do you mean? You can get to the labs now? Well, there's been a slight change of plan, you see. There's something else we need to find. And you've done well so far. So I'm requesting your assistance yet again. Come on, let's go. I told him not to touch it, but his stupidity and bad taste in women got the best of him. He touched it with a flick of his stick and he had an STD. He cried to me, but I warned him. I told him it was stupid and reckless. Oh, Mr. Cracko, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Boo hoo. I told him I could cut it off for free, but no, he just had to keep it. Had to keep it and keep it for some like show and tell type of thing. Once he returned it to the labs, I told him that the D-virus and coronavirus got knocked over by some tool in research making something new, like a double D-virus, and it went airborne. Well, we're all gonna die now. Crack ho out, bitches. That was weird. Well, explains what happened here, ish. I need Barry to give me a straight answer. He's hiding something, not being his normal, pervy self. Barry was right about the back door. Now we can go get help, but it's odd. Why didn't he come find me first? Maybe Chris or Whisker opened the door? Or maybe another SCARS member? Definitely a SCARS member. I mean, look at those bullet holes. Cliff jumping videos is finally going to pay off. Just remember, keep your arms down and clench your butt. Or you'll get a butt full of water. Let's do this. Will you settle down? Your nervous is making me nervous. And where the hell's Barry? He should be here by now. This may be our only chance to get our way out of the shit pile of puke. Fine by me. It'll feel great to get out of here, you know? Right. Hey, pretty boy, are you trying to be Captain Whisker? No, sir. Take those sunglasses off. What's your name? Uh, uh, Chris Redflow, sir. Did your mom name you after a bloody tampon? It could be possible, sir. When the shooting starts, you better not wet your panties, pretty boy, or the enemy will laugh at you and sleep with your mama. You good? Yeah. 
Why the smile? Long story short, don't eat panties. Enemies will smile. Sleep with mommy. Come on, let's go. Let's grow loose. We haven't been dead long. Maybe less than half an hour. Silver snakes! Come on! Bit? No, you. No. If it's all the same to you, let's never go back there again. I'm more of a frog person than you. Funny. I figured you for a turtle girl. Turtle girl? Yeah. See how slow you're running back there? What? Wait, no, I was the first person out of that gate. out of range. We have to get out of here and get a better signal. Or at least find some way to boost it. What do you say we go check out door number one? Hold your shit. Don't move. Are you with anyone, Jill? I'm single. Ish. You know my situation, but I thought you were get- No, no, not that. I mean, are you with anyone like, like team members? Oh, my bad. No, 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 not right now. Barry's around here somewhere. Enrico, what happened to you? Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I had to make sure. This, this whole thing's a setup. I got lost. I, I, I climbed the fence. I saw these tunnels. Found a paper. Unicorn. Unicorn ink. I knew all along. Hang on, Rico. We'll get you out of here. You just gotta lay still. There's a traitor in the scars. It's. it's. it's our. That was close. If you, if you find a lot of my playgirls at your house, just keep them. There's a lot of hot dudes in there. has eight mm. over 12 researchers so far mm. they keep it locked up in the meeting room huh man-eating plant kind of like a little shop of horrors mm. little shop of what you know the musical he chops up people and feeds them to his plant is that a movie yeah it is so you're saying you haven't seen it nope <laughs> kids anyways it also says one of the scientists got infected and went mad and busted the tanks in the basement, so the basement is flooded. Okay, good. I can scratch basement off my list. You're scared of basements? No. So it infects plants, huh? That's, 
It's a long drop. Barry. Did you kill Enrico? Yes. Why? He found some information that, well, he shouldn't have and had to be put down. Damn it! Whisker. Now, Barry, do I need to remind you of our little arrangement. If I die, well, you know the rest. Yes. Good boy, Barry. Good boy. Now, can we act like adults for once? And let's talk about Jill. She cannot interfere with our plans. I want you to keep her busy. How do I say, stay away from the labs? She must not find them. Where's the labs? If for some reason you can't keep her away, go with her. There's tons of doors with locks. If worse comes to worse, lock her up until it's all over. Nobody else has to die. Good old buddy. Toodles. It could be the plant. A plant did that? The one they're growing here could. Damn. Security lock. It's not the code we ain't getting in. We can try different combinations till it opens. You realize how long that'll take? Oh, just for shits and giggles, type in 80085. Okay. Boobs, really? mixture of chemicals I can make a bee jolt that can kill the plant. Yes. Where do we insert this bee jolt? Or do we spray it like weed killer? The basement. Uh, no. Not happening. You gotta insert it into the root of the plant. Why are you so scared of basements? Okay. I was locked in my best friend's basement for three days. They didn't even know I was down there. They went out of town on the weekend. And let's just say I became really good friends with their ghosts. First of all, ghosts aren't real. Zombies aren't real either, but look what we've ran into so far. Look, to find the exit and get out of here, we need to find and kill this plant. I'll go myself. Wait, you make a valid point. I'll go, so you weren't alone. Thank you. Now for the mixing. I ain't going down there. Everyone knows ghosts like basements. Well, how long is this gonna take? 10, 15-ish. Perfect. I'll go have a look around. You stay here and mix that cocktail. Sounds good.
the hell is stars? It's not working! Die, you egg like a freak! Long Bush Beaver Poop Cat Bingo Bitches.
too bad. Nobody else will make it. I was beginning to like these Scars members. <laughs> oh well. We're going down. Unicorn Ink. Bioweapon report, research and development. Oh. Oh, that is disgusting. Took the words from out of my mouth. So how do we do this? Well, stand back. If you inhale this, it could kill you. Oh. How will you know if it's working? Well, if the bee jolt reports are correct, we'll definitely know. Watch. Good God, what did you put in that stuff? You don't want to know. Trust me. You ready to get out of here? it? A tiny little plant? I thought it would be bigger? I was almost chum for a giant fucking shark! I could have killed that with my fists! Well, it, it looks dead. Now it is. Captain Albert fucking Whisker. Huh? Captain Whisker was a part of all this? And if he's still here, he's in those labs. Maybe with the rest of the team. Unicorn Inc. sent him here. But to do God knows what. So, the 117s didn't kill her. What the fresh hell. I clearly underestimated her. Chill, you alright? Do I look like I'm alright, Barry? Where have you been? I'm not in the kitchen. I'm in control. There's nothing I can't handle. This is my game, and I will accomplish my mission without any interference from that little bitch. Barry, we gotta get out of here. I found some paperwork upstairs about what's been going on around here. Someone shot and killed Enrico right in front of me. He told me about Unicorn Inc. and there's a traitor inside of Scars. 
I followed the killer down here, but it's too dangerous to be snooping around. We need to get the files, get back to the mansion, and wait for BPD. But I found the main lab, I think, downstairs. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. All kinds of lab stuff and computers. If we could get in there and view their personnel files, I think we'd really nail it to them. Lead the way. I want you to stay right here. You should get a good signal to radio Brad. Tell him we're here and what's been going on. If I'm not back in 20 minutes, go to the help pad and wait for the cavalry. But I want to go with you. I can take care of myself and you're going to need me if you find the labs. Listen, for all we know, Wesker's already killed the other SCARS members. If you and I are the only two left, we can't risk an ambush. Someone has to survive to tell the story of what Unicorn Inc. has done. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. I know you can take care of yourself. Look, just 20 minutes. I just need to see if anyone else has made it. Fine, I'll stay. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. Yeah, something's wrong. I mean, now's not the time. Let's just get this over with. Okay, but let's talk when all this is said and done. It's this way. Hello, Jill. Nice of you to drop by. And Barry, good job. Now take her weapons. Good. Now go back up to B1 and wait for me by the exit. But you said you were just gonna lock her up so she wouldn't interfere anymore. Barry, everything's gonna be fine. Like hell it is. Mm, now go, Barry. I promise I'm not gonna hurt her. Go. Barry. I'm sorry, Jill. It's my family. Now, Barry. Can't say that I'm super surprised, but how'd you get Barry to help you? Old Barry was having trouble in the sack, so I told him that Unicorn had a team sitting outside his house, waiting to kill his family. He was happy to help. You're a bastard! Maybe, but I'll be a rich bastard when this is all over. Unicorn is paying me a lot of money to clean up their little mess and to get rid of all you prowling SCARS members in the process. Why? Why does Unicorn want to destroy Scars? Oh, not all of them. They have big plans for some of us. Those that want to make a profit. It's, it's you. All that sniveling, do-gooder, red, white, and blue, apple pie, Betty White bullshit! It, it has to stop here. The whole place is rigged to go up in smoke in case of an accident. The tyrant's virus escaping the facility destroyed. No one will get the truth, but enough about Unicorn. It's my turn to have some fun. 
I've got an experiment for you. I want to see how our most agile team member holds up against the miracle of modern science. Will you please step this way? I can't believe this. You're selling out to protect a bunch of unethical corporate blackmailers? Blackmail? Oh, you mean Barry. <laughs> Unicorn wouldn't kill anyone. They just buy the person out. Much easier. I made all that up to get Barry on board. <laughs> Jill, I'm so sorry. What? Oh, you're sorry? It's okay, at least you came back. You wouldn't happen to have your cuffs on you, would you? Maybe there's some uh, cables or cords somewhere in this lab. Plus, I gotta see this miracle modern blah, blah, blah. Tyrant. We can't leave this like this. Stop, I think that's it. Next time, you might cuff me to a pipe or something. We were gonna tie you up bondage hooker style. Shut it! Put down your guns. This baby will shoot a flea of a dog's ass. And the dog's ass! Now back away from this miracle of blah blah. It's marvelous, isn't it? Just think these as a military unit. The crazy eight, the new A-team, share super soldiers making us obsolete. It's, it's really too bad, isn't it? That this, this tyrant won't make it just like you. You will all die here and I, I, will be the only survivor because this, this is my game and I'm, I'm in control of it, of everything, of everything. Hey Cat, not everything. Shut up and die, Captain. Someone's on the rag. Oh, 
for the naked oh. Jill joke. <laughs> you know, she'll never be your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Self-destruct in 15 minutes. Everyone must evacuate. This is not a drill, you dumbasses. Please don't shove or push your classmates. No peeking in the girls' restroom. Esteem did not kill himself. Carol most definitely killed her husband and fed him to the tigers. Self-destruct in 15 minutes. the Wiener Estate, you have got to get to the helipad. Do you copy? I copy. Do you copy? Shit! Shit! It's me! It's Chris! Stop shooting! Oh, sorry. Just making sure that you wasn't a zombie. Chris? Jill? Thank God, I thought you was dead. Oh. oh! Barry! Oh, sorry, just making sure. I'm not, but we have to hurry. This place is gonna blow. There's a ladder that leads to the helipad. Four minutes, 15 seconds till self-destruct.
survived! No, no, turn, turn it around! It around. Okay! Bye, bitches. Fucking scars members. Alright. I'm just gonna say it. Aww. Jill, I like you a lot. The very thought of you kept me going. I never stopped searching for you all night. So what I'm trying to say is... Cute. We should go back to the cooter pole. <laughs> Shut it, Barry! Chris, I like you too, but only as a friend. I have a boyfriend. His name is Carlos. Carlos Sexy Man Muffin. He's probably worried sick about me. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Besides, there's tons of fish in Big Coon City. 900,000 to be exact. Well, minus the 400,000 dudes out there, but, you know, there's tender. There's match made in heaven. Please stop talking, Becca. See? We should go to the cooter pole. I'll go with you, Barry. Besides, the wife should already be there by now, anyways. Just the thought of her in those fishnets. Whoa! Yes. Hot. He gets it. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> what is the cooter pole? I'll tell you one time and buy you your first lap dance. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You all need help. Was it just me or was that Joseph back there? Who's Joseph? Come on, boys. Let's follow her home. Wait up, toots. The list of survivors from the Wiener State Explosion are Scars agents Jill Valentine, Chris Redflow, Barry Gordon, Rebecca Chambers, and Brad Lickers. They proved that Unicorn Inc. caused the outbreak at Wiener Mansion. We all owe our thanks to Jill, Chris, and Chief Sanders for all their brave work investigating Unicorn Incorporated. The tea now is that Crystal has a crush on Jill, says Barry, and Rebecca is now BPD's baseball star and helping them win against the Rocky Bush Beavers.
doors. I mean scars. Your presence has been detected and recorded. Thank you.